I'm not booting up. Let me see these errors though. So, is the file system corrupt? Should we wipe and reset? Reboot, reboot the bootloader, apply update. Wipe data factory, wipe cache. Mount system. Recovery logs. Let's go to the recovery logs. Let's go to this log. Let's do a scan of what's going on. And it recovery. Let's turn the mounted lion. Warning is mounted lions. EFS system unmount. System mounted. Mount FS. External. Okay. Let's do. Mount the cache uh, so it doesn't EFS it's doing a EFS check FS CK check of the file system uh, skipping journal recovery because incompat recovery is clear uh, not being checked first directory Cache. Radio system would be the Wi Fi. Fail to set uh, DCP. Skip to save only. Uh, fail to stack. Message file directory. Fail. <sighs> Failed boot device. Trying to see if there's some sort of um, a drive failure. Uh, these are just these are just useless logs. Uh, that configs eighty six percent. So oh, let's go back to that. On mount cache. So I'm on the cache running. Okay. You, uh, fail to mount SD card. No such file directory. I don't think this has an SD card in there. I don't think so. <laughs> all right so uh, i determined because it can't find the boot directory in the other directories i see device errors um uh, file system errors a, a normal person is not going to understand those i'm heavy unix background so i i know i see what's going on there and i could see that the file system is corrupt and it's not able to fix it so my only option with this uh, iPad uh, is to reinstall the OS. I can see that it's corrupt. It's, nothing's going to fix it. If I was able to tell that into it, I might be able to do that. But I don't, I don't know any tools that do that. And I don't really care because there's nothing on it. It's just a 
a four-year-old, five-year-old uses the tablet. She doesn't care what's on there. Um, so I go get, do a search for the firmware. This particular one, I get the firmware, download it. Uh, I extract it uh, to the desktop. Uh, there's the firmware. Nothing installs. The firmware does not... Um, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's not it. Firmware. Uh, I downloaded the firmware, uh, which is that. No, it's not. Is this. Anyway, it's this firmware. I couldn't find a US one, so that's not installed. Uh, unknown. This one right here. And looking at the screen, I matched up this number, so I know it's the right one. Um, so anyway... So you're going to install that, and then you're going to have to install uh, download Odin. I believe Odin is on there. I think you have to make an account before they let you download it. You have to install Odin 3, which is going to be this software that gets installed. This actually installs. Um, the Odin software, I then took the firmware that I downloaded, and I extracted the firmware into the Odin directory, just to make it easier. And then you have to open up Odin. And if you plug in your if you plug in your tablet if you plug in your tablet and you don't see it pop up right there, oh, so I'll do it now and show you because they don't tell you this. They don't they, they just don't tell you this. You're gonna plug it in. You're gonna hear Windows going do 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 do. And if you don't do if all if all you do is install Odin and download the firmware, this is not going to pop up. You're not going to see that. You're not going to see that. And you'll see in the device, you'll see devices, you'll see all right, see that you won't see this here. You won't see that there, but you will see in the comms, uh where is it? Oh, maybe because I have that, it is it is not showing the COM port. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> so you're not going to see this. You're going to see a COM port instead. I uh, because I have this fixed. You, uh, I can't show you a COM port because this laptop doesn't have any COM ports. But you're going to see a COM port instead of portable device. So what they don't tell you is you need to go. Oh, wrong one. You need to search for Android USB drivers for download for Windows or whatever you're doing. And that's going to be at developer Samsung. So once you're going to have to download these drivers and install these drivers. Once you install these drivers, then this will pop up. Then you will see that. If you don't have anything in this window, nothing's going to work. So then you go in. This is your bootloader. You go in, click the BL. And because I copied the files into the directory I'm running in it, it already sees them. So BL, I would choose the BL. And then it goes. It confirms it. And then it adds it over here. And then you do that for all of those. And because this particular tablet does not have a modem. The modem is cellular, so I do not have a CP in the firmware. There's no CP because this 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 tablet does not have cellular. Would they call that a modem on devices? It does not have that, so there's not going to be a CP. So you won't be installing the CP. This one is going to do overwrite your home directory. Uh, that's a uh, home. That home, I know the home doesn't exist. You're going to lose all your data when that happens, but you're just going to have to do that. I mean, you could try doing it without that, and then if it, it's still screwing up, the file system is still screwed up. So, I'm going to unplug this because I don't want writing because I'm, I'm still, I already got this fixed. So, you're going to get all these configured. Uh, if you have this, if you know you don't have cellular, you're not going to install this. So then you get your BL, you get your AP installed. Um, you're going to get uh, these things listed. Uh, Odin Engine. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. All right. So I could show you that stuff. 
So you're going to get all this installed. And then, once you got to make sure that your device is showing up here, then you hit start. Make sure this is like this. Make sure these are all clear. Like when you do the AP one, that's the two gig file. It takes it, that's your two gig file. It takes it a while to CRC check that. So be patient and wait. Then you're going to hit start and it's going to go through all this. It's going to go through all this. It's going to start uploading the files. Uh, extension three, the four, that's your, uh, uh, these images, these are the device these are the directories that it was saying it can't find, that it couldn't find. Um, these are binaries. These are file systems. The hidden file system, user data file system, persist file system. That's what the images are. Those are file systems. Okay. And this is it installing everything, the drivers and stuff. Uh, uh, and then it does a, then it did a reboot, uh, succeed one, it did a reboot and then everything came back up and then this is me screwing around just now. So you could ignore that. So then you just need to wait for this. Um, it shows, it shows a line across as it's installing, just like the Apple device does when you install new firmware. Um, it shows a line going across and it gets to one end and it does its reboot. It does some initializing. You'll see Samsung sitting here for a while as it's rebuilding the file system. It's not telling you it's doing it, but Samsung looking like this will sit here for a couple of minutes while it rebuilds the file system in the background. And eventually you'll, you'll get to the, the, these kind of configs where it's, it's asking, uh, um, your Wi-Fi and all that. And then you're done. But installing those drivers is key. They don't tell you to install the drivers. So a lot of people have issues with Odin where they their device is not seen. Their device is not seen. Because right from the Samsung site, it doesn't tell you to install the drivers. It doesn't give you a link to the drivers. It doesn't tell you jack about that. It just says, oh, use Odin. Nothing about drivers. So... That's the missing link to all this. And again, that's in the that's in the developer section. Samsung developers. And you just search for uh, USB drivers, Android or Samsung USB drivers, and there there's where you'll find them. There you have it, bro. Done? No, stir some more, you almost got it. Yeah, more, man. Don't get lazy on me, bro. Yeah, more. All right, you think you're done? Yeah. All right, I'll finish it off. Don't you have to?